Welcome to a quick video showing you a new operating system, um, Diet Pi. Uh, this is a, a optimized and reduced version of operating system ready to run on uh, your board. It also has this really cool logo um, and the green color just attracted me to it straight away. So we're gonna have a quick, uh, quick install and uh, play around with this. Uh, head over to the Diet Pi website. Uh, the actual website's really nice as well. Very nicely laid out, gives you lots of detail lots of content and then if you go to the download section you can actually download Diet Pi for any of your boards so we've got the classic Raspberry Pi here and uh, a number of other alternative boards as well which is absolutely fantastic um, I'm actually going to install it on my uh, Acer Tinker board so click on that one it gives you the performance rating which is quite nice as well you can see how this stacks up as against the other boards so if we compare this to the Raspberry Pi, okay, you can see uh, how it how it pans out and how it compares. So if you're thinking of buying a new board, um, you can obviously uh, have a look at the specs here. That's quite a nice feature. So uh, I'm doing the Acer Tinker board. Right click here, download the image. Stick it on the desktop. Okay, it's a fairly small image. It's only about 400 megabytes, so uh, it doesn't take much time to to download. Uh, assume you've got a, a fairly fast internet connection. We're nearly done there. Uh, what you're going to need to do is obviously prepare your um, SD card. So whilst we're waiting for that to download, I'm just going to pop in the SD card. Um, if it's a brand new SD card with nothing installed on it, you can go straight away to the install. If not, you may need to um, to clean it. So I've already got some stuff on here and uh, I need to format it. So I tend to use this one, uh, SD card formatter. Okay. Um, all you need to do is obviously select the, uh, the drive. I'll just double check, make sure you get the right one. So drive G, that's good. So G, and then I'm going to format it, resize as well. Okay. Oh, apparently I've got the, uh... yes, it's locked. It's unlocked now. Let's try again. So drive, drive G. Yeah, we're on G, that's fine. Here we go. Okay, now remember you only need to do this if your um, memory card uh, has already sort something on it. So this has already had an operating system on it. You can see now it's gone to 14 gig. Um, it's available to, to install on. If it's a brand new SD card and it hasn't had anything installed on it or any um, operating systems, then you can uh, skip this step. Right, so that's ready now. Um, if I go to my download here, you can see I've got the Diet Pi. Click on that. Now, uh, you need to extract this so I can drag it onto the desktop. It's not taking a lot of time because the image is so small. Again, around about 400 megabytes. Okay, so there's my image. And now I'm going to use the Win32 Disk Imager. So all I'm doing here is selecting from here, selecting the image file, click on there, press save, selecting the correct drive. So this is G, which is the SD card. I can double check. Okay, SD card is G. And then I'm gonna write. Yes. Okay. So now I'm just simply writing the uh, operating system, the image file to the SD card. 
And uh, once we're done, we'll then uh, plug it in and, and boot it up. Awesome. So first thing to log in. Uh, log in username root and diet. Hi. Screen to the license. Uh, offering me to set up internet access, which we're going to do now. I'm selecting uh, Wi Fi here. I'm going to scan. Okay, so we found my uh, Wi Fi signal here. Just so you know, I am using a uh, Wi Fi dongle. Uh, in case you're having issues. Okay, so I'm going to enter my key now. Okay, and now we're trying to reconnect. Okay, so I'm now connected uh, to the to the Wi-Fi, the internet network, and uh, we can return. And we are up and running. Doing a quick update here. And the one thing, good thing about Diet Pi is all the updates are automatic, so always checks for uh, for updates. So I'll let it do that, and we'll come back and see what uh, other features we've got. So I've rebooted the Diet Pi, and uh, now I have my um, uh, the configuration window's gone. So now I've got the options to install software. Uh, so let's have a look at the additional software. I can install, uh, install all of these. Or Python. In include a SSS client as well, which is quite good. Um, what else have we got? Uninstall software. Configure it guides as well so we've got a, a fairly good operating system there yeah quite impressed so far so i'm going to play around with it and uh, i'll probably do a, a follow-up video uh, with some more feedback and uh, some more features thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check the link out to um, download the diet pie software and try it on your board as well and uh, thanks very much for your time